You know, my wife is a hairdresser and she hears all the bad stories. Um, and if you think you've heard them all, you're nuts. And if you think you're not, you haven't been one of those bad stories, uh, you're not paying attention to yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Bill Herman and this is Creative License. Uh, and thanks again for being a part of the podcast and thanks for uh, saying nice things about our sponsors, entertainment, the Entertainment Experience Workshops and Seminars at Entertainment Experience, entertainment-experience.com and of course, Electro Voice Speakers, the best speakers in the world. So, um, being the bad DJ, the guy they talk about, you gotta be careful, man, because there's a lot of things we do um, that we do because we think we should be able to. Uh, like the guy, uh, I was just like I was just hearing the, uh, a few minutes ago from my wife, uh, the guy who showed up during dinner and that's when he set up. And while he did it, he made a big ruckus and helped and had to move people's dinner tables as he did it. And regardless of how good of a DJ he might have been afterwards, he had pretty much lost everybody's respect. Nobody was going to play with this guy. He was disliked immediately. Why? Because he didn't take the time to come in before the clients got there and set up. The cake guy shows up late, he's looked badly on. If you show up late, the same thing happens. And, and what do we do? I mean, I don't know why this guy did it. Maybe he was a mistake, maybe he got lost, maybe he had a flat tire, I don't know. But it, it didn't help him. But I also hear regularly the, the guys do that because they've contracted like a four hour block, like photographers do. Uh, oftentimes they've got a four hour block, so they got to use them in this block and then the photographer's gone and that irritates us when the photographer's rushing us through the things to be sure we do things uh, within their block. Why would you do that? I mean, that just makes you look terrible. Uh, there's a lot of things and if you don't know what these things are, you should start asking your clients. You should go, next time you get a haircut, ask the hairdresser or the stories because she's got them all. Like the one that my wife told me about the DJ who came to the event late he wore jeans and uh, uh, cut off jean, uh, uh, cut off jeans. Sorry, uh, uh, black tennis shoes. I don't know why. A, 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 a t-shirt. Um, all of his gear full of cords. But he brought his girlfriend and their baby. And they hung out at the party. And when the girlfriend and the baby got tired, they crawled under the DJ's table under the skirt, and that's where they slept. Okay, because hey, he had this block. You know, whatever his justification for doing that made him and all of us look terrible. Okay, that's what you got to deal with every time that another client sits across from you. They've got that picture in their head. And trust me, they've seen way more terrible DJs than they've seen good ones. And they're already thinking that you are one of those guys. They're already thinking that they have to buy a DJ and not that they want to buy a DJ. So, where are those things that you are coming off looking like that guy? Have you looked into it lately? I'm not saying that you're, you're bringing your wife and your kid and hiding them under the table. I'm not saying that, but there are little things and, and people will see them and people will talk about them and it will not only make our DJ profession look bad, but it will make you look bad as, as well. What are the stories you've heard? What are the things that you've done? <laughs> I've, I've done mine. <laughs> I might tell you another show, but if you want to write about them in the comments below, I'd love to hear about them. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you next week. Thursday, every Thursday, this is Creative License with Bill Herman.